right? We like to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh by Shem, and Kadosh. Double honor to our apostles, our bishops. Honor to Akin, our pushes too for our sincerity. Right? We the Hebrew Israelites. All right, the Lord's chosen people that the Bible speaks of, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And we've been co commanded to go out and preach the, this word, all right, for our own salvation. And so the Lord, Lord willing, he protects us. You got it. This is the book of Matthews, chapter 24, verse Yep, so 34. Okay. It says, Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Yeah, so the, the end of this age of rulership is not going to pass until all the prophecies come. You know, don't tarry. We waiting for it. So soon the Lord is going to make his return to bring judgment on the world. All right? And it's happening slowly. World War I and World War II that already take, taking place, have already taken place. So we already know this third world's war, the end all wars, is about to surely appear soon. All right? But you people don't understand that. But your government, they already know. Your rulers, your elite know. That's why they got their fallout shelters and leaving your asses behind. It says... This generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. What are some of the prophecies? Famine on a global scale, pestilence, more disease outbreaks. All right? Millions upon millions upon millions upon people laid out and dying instantly, or within two to three days. All right? Your financial collapse. Once again, no food in the stores. And then they're going to issue an RFID microchip, which is going to be the new form of currency on your ID. It's going to, people are going to suffer and they're going to get it to get some type of comfort. And then it's going to be made mandatory. Got it? It says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Yeah, the Lord's word is not going to pass away. Rulership will. All right? But the Lord's word is, it stands. It, it don't break. So what the Lord says will happen is going to happen. War, that, World War III will take place. Huh? It says, but of that day and hour knoweth no man. That exact moment, no one knows. But we're, we're told to measure the times and watch. Now how we measure the times, we're looking at the prophecies and things leading up to the prophecies. All right? But of the day and hour knoweth no man. The day and hour knoweth no man. But we know World War I and World War II have taken place. We know that they're about to issue the RFID microchip and make it mandatory that everyone has to get it in their hand or on their forehead. Because we already know this place is trillions of America, Babylon the Great is trillions and trillions of dollars in debt. And that's the interest on that debt. That ain't even a principle. It says, but of that day and hour knoweth no man. No man knows. Because if, if you knew the exact moment, you know, you have people trying to outsmart the Lord. You know what I mean? Nah, the Lord ain't going to let you know when he returns. The Lord doesn't know, only the Most High knows when he's going to send Yahweh shot. No, not the angels of heaven, See? but my Father only. See, Yahweh Shah said his Father. Who is Yahweh Shah's Father? Yahweh. Yahweh is who the world called God, and Yahweh Shah is who the world called Christ. But as the days of Noah were, so also, so shall also the coming of the son of man be. Like the days of Noah. They was partying, and that flood came out of nowhere. They was partying, man. They wasn't they wasn't taking heed to Noah prophesying and building that ark, man. They was scoffing. And that's how these people are now. 
Folly is set in great dignity. Things of no importance is held the highest esteem here in the world, and mainly in America. So damn country is like this is here, yo. <laughs> the land of make believe, man. Yep. And that's why, and that's why these people will get caught off guard when the law returns, man. They party just like when your parent pop up. You, you ain't supposed to be doing something and they sneak up to the school or whatever. Yep. You catch your ass, slip. It says, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving into marriage. They was, they was marrying and they was partying also, man. They was living their best life, man. You know? Today is the American dream. I don't know what the dream was back then, but it was something similar. Yeah. It says, Marrying and giving into marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. That's the Noah entered into that ark. That's when that, 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 that drops of rain start coming coming down. And, and, and also from the ground, man, that's when they knew it was serious. And, and they're going to know when the things that lead up to this nuclear destruction, they're going to know it's serious then. And knew not until the flood came. They didn't know until the flood came. Then they knew it was, a, it was in the game. When they saw that water come from the sky first, because the rain never rained from the sky up, up, up until that time. You know? Just like nuclear weapons wasn't shot off as of yet. So they think this shit is sweet. And knew not until the flood came. They knew not until the flood came. They gonna know when the nukes is, they gonna know the martial law. And then when the nukes come, and then when the Lord, when the angels appear, when the heavens open, that our spiritual realm open up and them chariots is appear. Then they gonna know it's, it's in game. It says, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. Took them all away. It was crushed and drowned, <coughs> and drowned by that water. It was violent water, man. It rained and everything. How you think the continents broke up? Pressurized water, man. It cuts through things. It crushes things. You know, it was crushing the elements, the ground. Broke the Pangea, the landmass. They flood, they, they died in a flood, man. Some people was crushed by the water, you know? It says, they took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. That's a, just like the Son, the son of Man is your shot. So when he comes back, he gonna flood this place with fire. America gonna be flooded with fire, man. What else? The land of Israel is gonna be flooded with fire. It's gonna be destroyed also. It says, then shall two be in the field, one shall be taken, and the other left behind. Yeah, so the elect is gonna be beamed up, but the left, the rest is gonna be left behind. The Lord will be the elect. And the elect is so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you're gonna have um the elect that's not going to look like this like this like foreigners all right and the Israelite foreigners are, 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 are they like castaways in their land or wherever they are no matter how they look two women shall be grinding at a mill one shall be taken and the other left yeah so that's elect the Lord is only uh, the, the elect is a small number compared to the world's population compared to a population here in America. It says, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. So we gotta watch and do this work. We gotta be we gotta be seen doing the work. And to the Lord, and to the Lord has us where we're not doing the work no more until the famine of the word happens. So we gotta we gotta we gotta be like that. Right? We, got, we have to be like that. 
So we, 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 we basically, we got to be on guard. We on guard and we in fear, little willing, man. So that's why we out in different weather doing this work, man. It says, but know this, that if the good man of the house have known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched. Yeah, that thief is, the thief is going to be your Howard Shy, man. All right, now, if, if, every, if, if those knew, if everyone knew when the Lord is going to return, every, you know, he, they, 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 they wouldn't have um, been moving the way they moving or conducting themselves in a certain manner. Because they they know, but the nah, the the Lord the Lord is not gonna um, it's not gonna do things like that. It says, and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Yeah. So um, those those those, if they knew, the, the ones that's gonna be called lacking, if they knew when the Lord will return. If they had any type of sign, they would have, they they wouldn't have got caught off guard like that. But the Lord don't want everyone to be um, saved, man. The Most High don't want everyone to be saved. The Most High has in his, his elect. It says, "Therefore, be ye also ready for such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man coming." Yeah, be be ready. So. You're not going to be saying that um, that there's not going to be a nuclear destruction. The RFID microchip is not the is not the um, mark of the beast. You're not going to say things like that. You know what I mean? Because then you you saying this place is going to keep going on and on. But we know this place has a we know America has an eviction notice. <laughs> you know, this place got an end, and we know America's ending is is nearing its end. Exists on the planet. Man. Pretty soon, America's gonna get wiped off the map by thermonuclear destruction. That's about to happen. It reads. It says, "Who then is that faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord have made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season?" That's right. So the elect is gonna be doing the work. All right. Well, when we elect some of our apostles, our bishops down the rank, doing the work. You know, you see how you see how they how they how they do the, the spirit on them to get it in. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Yeah, so you know the angels are, the angels are watching. The Lord is watching. And so he already knows who's doing this work, and, he, he go, and then at that time when it's not going to be any more work done, because that that's the time of the famine of the word, meaning their the works is done. Then now it's um it's, it's game time, you know. It says, "Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods." That's right. So the elect is going to be put in a rulership. Position, join heirs in the kingdom alongside Yahweh Shai. Rulers of different provinces in the galaxy, man, galaxies. But first, it's gonna start on the earth, you know, and then we're gonna multiply, we're gonna keep multiplying, so we're gonna have it in other planets and galaxies. But what, and, and, and what does Yahweh Shai say? In my father's mansion, and my father's house, house. many mansions, I meaning many galaxies, multiverses, all right? But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, they shall begin to smite his fellow servants. Yeah, yeah, they're going to be smitten. They're going to be smiting. Because whoever's saying that the, the, the Lord is not, is not returning soon, these prophecies are not the prophecies, this ain't happening yet. Man, they lying, man. They trying. They, you can't. Delay, you can't delay um, the coming of the Lord. So, you know they're lying, and you can see it. It says, and he shall begin to smite his fellow servants and eat and drink with the drunken. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him 
Yeah, they ain't not gonna be looking. Yeah, man, they're they gonna be saying, they're gonna be still doing what they're doing until the destruction takes place. Until the destruction mm -hmm. starts. You know, things leading up before the law returns. All those events, martial law, the famine, the pestilence. It says, the Lord of that servant shall come in the day when he looketh not for him and in the hour that he is not aware of. Yeah, he's not on his watch. You know, he's, going, he, he's, he's sleeping. That's when it's going to happen. Suddenly. Destruction always happens abrupt and suddenly, instant. Out of nowhere. When you least expect it to. Yep. It says that's why we don't. That's why we don't overindulge in, in things like that in the world, because you get caught up. And shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. We're gonna suffer, man. Be put to death, man. That's that's the time. That's the time we're heading in now. These people don't know that, 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 that these laws is on to stop food from circulating, to, to cut the monetar monetary supply. They don't know these, these executive orders is in place to stop all foods from coming into the grocery store, to shut down all farmland. All right, mass production, to shut down everything that's shipped in. They don't know that. Because there's celebrities in tow. You know? Joel chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Prepare among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. These mighty men is coming back into their war like mentality. Iran, Shut up. Russia. That's Gog and Magog, the Medes, Iran, the El Elamites. That's, that's what that's talking about. And, and all these other nations, man. Because one time, America was a, the leading force of military and weaponry. But now the um, playing field is level. Uh, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near. All the men of war is about to, is drawing near right now. Every, everybody's building up their nuclear arsenal, getting ready for the third world's war. And what are you people doing? Party. Let, let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords. Yeah, your yeah, um farming, your agriculture, your economy. You know what they doing? They say, yo, put all your resources into your weaponry. That's what that's saying. Most of your, um, most of all your revenue, use that for your military, your arsenal, your logistics, for war. That's why you had Trump, when he was in office back then, he was saying NATO wasn't paying their fair share. Um, all these other countries in the armed um, defense, America is paying the bulk of it. Hun, beat your plowshares into swords uh -huh. and your pruning hooks into spurs. Yep, so the, the, these nations are, um, are putting the majority of their money into their weapons, their nuclear weapons, their jets, their um, arming their soldiers up. Gun. Beat your plowshares into swords uh -huh. and your pruning hooks into spurs. Uh -huh. Let the weak say, I am strong. Yeah, so nations that was once, Russia was once weakened, but now it's strong again. It was weakened for a short period of time. Them Persians are stepping back up. Them Iranians, they got nuclear weapons. North Korea got nuclear weapons. You know China has nuclear weapons. God. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and, and gather yourselves together around the boat. Thither cause that mighty ones to come down. That's, that's a that's a um the mighty ones, the angels, man. 
They that cause thy mighty works uh -huh. to come down, O oh Lord. Yes. Let the heathen be waking and come up to the valley of the Hawa Shepherd. That's the um the um that's how I'm the Lord. That's the Lord's decision, right? Uh -huh. The Lord's decision and, and it's gonna end and the, the um the war gonna start up, it's gonna brew up in the Middle East. Right? That's what's happening right now, right? It's all the tensions with Iran and the state of Israel. Yeah. You understand? Iraq, Syria, Yemen, all of these places are in, are in constant turmoil. Lebanon. Yeah. Why? Because all of that is the region of the valley of the Hawaii Shabbat. You understand? The Levant, the Fertile Crescent. You understand? So that, that's, that's, that's a weird war time. This is the season we're in. We not in we not in a merry season right now. We not in good times. We're we're in a war time right now. The world is at war time right now. In war time. War food. Yeah. All the nations of the world, their military is on war for them. And the, and the, these these people are so smart. They would know. Whenever whenever things was, was that, whenever things was bad. The foolish rulers that have their um their their entertain they keep their people like entertained and they'll worry about the real issues. They say let the um children play while the grown men handle business. Uh, let the heathen be working uh -huh. and come up to the body of the Howard Shabbat, uh -huh. for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. That's what the judgment. Because they're going to be warring with each other. It's going to be a lot of casualties. But then when the Lord return, they're going to they gonna, they gonna cease from fighting each other and try to fight the Lord. And they're going to instantly be incinerated in the air. That's what's going to happen. They're going to they all be cooked at once. Land, defense, the air, the air force. The top branch of the military, the Air Force, the NATO forces, and then those that's on sea. They all gonna be, they gonna all be sapped this by the Lord. It's gonna be a slaughter, it's gonna be a real mass slaughter, man. Put ye in yourselves together, and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shabbat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen. The harvest, that sickle, that blade, that blade, that cuts, Right. The harvest is the out into the world. Come get you dough, for the press is old, the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Yeah, so it's gonna be a mass um casualties, man. Um sacrifice, man. The fats, man, that's people slaughtered, man. This place is like a giant altar, man. It's gonna be a mass slaughter, man. Uh, for their wickedness is great, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Yeah, valley of decision, uh, right there in the Middle East. And the, um, the Lord, the Lord judgment is about to take place. The third world's war. That's These right. people haven't seen the so-called UFOs. They're not UFOs. Those are chariots of the Lord. That's the curse. That's going out throughout the earth, man. That's why there can never be no peace in the Middle East, man. Because uh -huh. that's against uh, biblical prophecy. Yeah. Understand? That will happen. But it's going to happen once we, the true Israelites are back in the world. Those are the people that you see demonstrating on this side that we have on the ground right here, man. This represents one of the 12 tribes of Israel, from Judah down to Israel, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Yep. Yeah, so um once again we're in the season of we're in the season of war. We're in the season of war. That's why we're on our watch. We know the Lord is gonna return. We don't know the exact moment, but we know the events that's gonna lead up to that. Alright? We have faith in it. Is we not we not it ain't no thing or we unsure. We know that the Lord gonna bring judgment. We know this. This is Revelation 12 and 7. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels 
fought against the dragon. Now, war in heaven. Now, that's not talking about the spiritual realm. There's more than one heaven. That's talking about that's talking about Esau's rulership. And the, the heaven that's under the firmament, man. Under the, under the ozone layer, that's here. That war that's going to take place. Michael said what? It says, there was a war. Uh -huh. Revelation 12 and 7. And there was a war in heaven. Uh -huh. Michael and his angels. Well, yep, that's, uh, that's Michael and his angels. Those are archangels alongside with the Lord. Uh -huh. Fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought with his angels. NATO, the EU, and America. That's that. That's that. Um, that's Satan's angels. They go. They go. They gonna fight. They gonna try to fight against the Lord. They are gonna try. And prevail not. And prevail not because they instantly got vaporized. They instantly got vaporized, man. And they, this shows how. This shows all the power of the Lord and the Most High. Because on their scale, it's done already taking place. Already. Because they stand outside of time, huh? We're talking about the destruction of America. That's about to take place, according to the Bible. According to the Bible? Yes. America is referenced in the Bible? Yep. Babylon the Great. Babylon is Bab No. The, this Babylon, Babylon and, the, and Iraq, it wasn't destroyed violently. It was just a, a peaceful transition. I, this I Babylon, this Babylon, it said no one's going to dwell here anymore. There's yeah. people dwelling in Iraq. You're talking about ancient Babylon. Ancient Babylon is Iraq. Yeah. But in the Bible speaks about, about, about a future Babylon. Babylon is great. great. The book of Revelation, uh -huh. and so on and so forth, which is modern day America. So, Babylon the great that the Bible speaks of is America. Uh -huh. Yes, and it's no. also a mystery too. Those everyone's not gonna get it. What's your okay, nationality? I'm like, I'm Pakistan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think about this a lot, obviously. Um, my understanding was that you know the twelve of the tribes of Israel definitely are a bunch of the ones that are on. Israel is both as a people before it's a place, but it's also a place. It's, it's, it's a yes, it's both. It's people. The land was named after the people. And what does it say in the Quran in the second surah, verse one twenty-two? Oh, I got you right here. De Deuteronomy okay. chapter Deuteronomy chapter seven. Verse, well, we're not dealing with the Quran. We're dealing with the Bible. That's, well, there, the, the, you, can't make, you can't make those books with the Bible. Yeah. Well, the scriptures. Yeah. Well, it builds on the Bible a lot. There's a lot of references to the Bible. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, no, there's, there's Israelites scattered amongst the Arabs. Yes. But as a people, the Arabs are from the lineage of Ishmael. And Arabs, you should know this, man, as the Arabs know this. Yeah, they're from they the, they're, that's why they highly reverence Ishmael in the religion of Islam. Yeah, that's true. But see, get the cover cast. That's why a lot of people curious, don't know who they are. But like the earth room, I'm just wondering what the earth room has to do with you guys. Are. Well, like, oh, the, I'll go on, um, and then we get on um, and also Ecclesiastes 12. So like, are you like warning, warning people or? Well, we wanted mainly our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and we letting these other nations know what their judgment is going to be. In the they enslaved, they enslaved the nation of Israel, so they're going to go into slavery. Because the Arabs were heavily involved in the transatlantic slavery. They built the ships. Uh, this is the book of, uh, and the scriptures go into that, man, what the Arabs did to the Israelites. Uh, this is the book of uh, Joel, back in Joel chapter 3. Verse uh, 4, verse 3. Joel chapter 3, verse 3. Verse 2. I will also gather all nations. I will bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shepard. They're going to bring, bring all nations to the valley of the Lord's decision. Which is over there in the Middle, the Middle East. East. They, they're going to be gathered there to, for, for this third world's war because the Lord is, um, he ruled from the kingdom of men. So he's in their mind giving them the instructions to prepare for war. That's why there's all that turmoil over there in the Middle East with the state of Israel, the Palestinians, um, Gaza, Yemen, Gaza, Iran. Um, Iran, because ultimately that's going to be an epicenter for World, World War III. Right? Uh, yeah. I, would, I would also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shepard. I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. And how the Lord going to plead with all flesh with fire? With fire. Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. They scattered among the nations and parted the land. So, so it's interesting. What's your uh, people like evangelical Christians or Israelites? Israelites. 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 But the court which is without the temple, leave out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles. Kind of the Gentiles, the Gentiles are the heathen nations. So the Arabs are Gentiles, the Chinese, so called Caucasian, so on and so forth. Those are Gentiles. Anybody outside of the 12 tribes of Israel are Gentiles. But the court which is without the temple, leave out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles and the whole and the holy, and the holy city. And the holy city, what's the holy city? Jerusalem, yep. the land of Israel, according to Galatians 4 and 26. Yeah. And mother to us all. Jerusalem is for, mother to us all. Come, for it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall be tread underfoot 40 and 2 months. And so that's why you have turmoil over there so in, in, in the state the, of Israel. The Bible? Yes, it's Revelation. Oh, okay. Revelation 11 yeah. and 2. That's why there's all that turmoil over there because the true people of the land is not in that land so right now that land is cursed because they said when the righteous when the, when the righteous are in authority it's interesting you're looking at the palestinians the palestinians are not the true people of the land the land was given to the israelites by, by god in yes so are the palestinians israelites no, the palestinians are palestinians from from that sea they're from israel from, so they're, they're from not that's not from that they're yeah, from where israel. they descend from Yes, because the Arabs about are from the region. What about the spirit? Spirit. Spirit of a person. I'm Palestinian. But who did who did who did God give that land to? Are you saying that I'm Palestinian? But who did God give that land to? Court, yes, that is. You know, like, you don't okay, so that, that, that's, 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 that's the division right there. So that's, but the question is, how would you say things like that that have real Because the Jews are the truth. Real quick, do you believe in God? Do you believe in the words of God? So if you don't believe in the words of God, God said that he gave the name to you. You can't apply the word of God, so what? To explain the 
Because I have family members that are okay. your complexion. Well, wait, 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 I have family members that's your complexion. They don't go about school color. Well, your only hope, you spirit, your yeah. only hope is that you're Israel. Well, my argument is that you're a Gentile. Well, the only hope is that you're Israel. I think that what we can do as human beings is good. Right? Is that not I got a scripture for you. Oh, I'm so sorry, song. I do have to run. All right. But I, this was very interesting. Thank you for talking right. to me. It's interesting to like, gather like, different perspectives. 
understand why everyone wants my country. <laughs> it's the truth. We, all right, we we'll see you in the kingdom. Uh, I'll take I'll care. See you yeah, in the kingdom. I'll see yeah. you in the kingdom. Exactly. She, she couldn't get it through a big stone that we was originally indigenous to that land. Just like you say, people migrated in conquest mm -hmm. to Egypt. People migrated in conquest to what you know as Palestine and Israel today. It's that simple. And the people that dwell, the indigenous people that dwell there, was exiled. Just like the indigenous people of America. Where are they at today? They was exiled to certain parts called the reservations. It's the same thing. When people say an American, they don't think of an American Indian. So she's no, 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 she no, saying, no. get uh, semantics. Exactly. Asian, these people are bringing our points, man. She, 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 knew, she knew that she couldn't resist. Because <laughs> it's not of us. She was a Yeah, yeah. 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 She, was a, she was an Irish supremacist. Yeah. It's like supremacist. Yeah, she you couldn't get over the fact that, oh, I'm from that land. My people are from that land. Nobody in that land looks like you. That's, that's bullshit. Which is bullshit. Because there's dark skinned Arabs here. Yeah. Ethiopian Jews. And there's Jake over there from America, man. Yeah. <laughs> Jake every damn where, man. She's full of shit, man. She's full of shit. She, 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 like you said, she's an Arab supremacist. She's an Arab supremacist, man. Well, with a hint of white supremacy in there, man. Oh, yeah. Because all, all of these nations suffer from that white supremacy, too, man. With that light skin, want to bleach your skin, want to be light skin. And you heard what she said. She got discriminated. She gets discriminated on because she has melanin. She has um, uh, what's it, brunette hair, black hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means she got melanin. So she's more melanated than probably uh, Edomite counterparts, the Edomite Arabs, like the brother who's breaking down. But what you got? Now? Luke chapter twelve, verse forty-nine. I am come to send fire on the earth. This is the Irish I speaking. Uh -huh. I'm come to send fire on the earth. And what will hide if it be already kept? You're gonna send fire. The Lord is gonna will fire. He's gonna flee with all flesh of fire. The Lord ain't doing any talking when he come back. He just will destroy and deliver. The, the talking talking time is done. The Lord did that when he was when he was uh, on the scene during the Roman Empire. Nah, this is a different ball game now. It's deliverance and destruction. The Lord is gonna flee with all flesh of fire, man. The spirit gonna be on them nuclear weapons and he gonna be shooting concentrated fire on the people also through them chariots, which the world calls spaceships. Come. I am come to send fire on the earth and what will I if it be already kindled? Uh -huh. But I have a baptism to be baptized with and how am I straightened till it be accomplished? Suppose ye that I'm come to give peace on earth. The Lord ain't coming to bring peace, man. We're not in time of peace. What's all this peace and love, man? We ain't exactly. in that time right now. Exactly. Love is right now. We telling you what's gonna happen. All right? But it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, we not in that time of love, man. If, we, if it was a time of love, we wouldn't be out here. Yeah, what, what, what love is going on in Palestine right now? Yeah. What love is going on in the land of Israel right now? They're getting blown the hell up. Yeah. Uh, if he was telling her, yeah, if he was on her side telling her, and yeah, them Jews don't belong in the land of Palestine, they should be in that land. Come, come, she would agree with us. Come here. Come here. Right. You know what I mean? Everybody wanted to have the perks on, the, on our downfall, but now when when the things are turning, you know, everybody want, all these nations want to shy away. We want to shy away now. We, together hate and all of this nah man look look y'all had a good old time and that time has ended i see how full of shit she is again a lot of these uh like places like uh the bronx washington heights uh those are like jewish communities a lot of them right but now where there's full of jigs man yeah. so people migrate and move people get pushed yeah. up people move even like places like compton over there in uh, LA, right, yeah. those are Jewish, so called Jewish communities. No, they're in the hood, man. Like if, like if I say, if I say, yo, there was a lot of, um, you know, you had a lot of Jewish mafia over there. Um, I'm talking about Khazar mafia, the Jewish mafia in Eastern Europe. People look at me like, like I'm bugging. At one time, they was out there. At one time, they was out there. Murder Inc. The Purple Gang. Nobody knows that. A lot of people don't know that, but. 
See, like she wouldn't, she wouldn't even know that. But now it's Jake over there. Huh? But now you got gentrification coming back. But you get what I'm saying? Because people move around, man. People yeah. migrate, people move, people get conquered. Right. You know what I mean? Different shit happens, man. Yeah. So the, the, the people in the same place is not going to always be the same people going back hundreds, mind you, thousands of years ago. Thank you. This is thousands of years we're talking about, man. Thank you. Understand? And we're not going to prophecy the, the Jews are going to, we're going to be exiled and kicked out of the, out of the land, man. You understand? And when you go to the history, they were kicked out, pushed into West Africa, and then got carted off in cargo stations and came to the lands of the Americas. Man. And then you do with the Northern Kingdom, there's a whole history on that too. Yeah. Yeah. see their captivity, them coming over here, you know what I mean? And then, and then them being conquered by the Spaniards and the Portuguese and so on. Man. You understand? But it, 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 this, this is why you gotta understand history and understand uh, the, the scriptures and, and validate the history through, through the scriptures. Mm -hmm. yeah. Understand? All right. It's, you, so like, it's Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. Okay. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Our people were scattered among the nations. We went into captivity and eventually we went into different lands and also. Our parents, we start looking like like these other nations. Some, a lot of us. So we scattered. Basically, we not we not in our homeland no more. So it looks like to these to these peons that's reincarnated, it looked like like they the originators of that land. When exactly. that's not the that's not the case. Exactly. It says, "The Lord shall scatter you among uh -huh. all people yep. from one end of the earth." even unto the other to the other and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou thought nor it's a neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone so our people are serving these other um gods that are no gods all right because they got demons on them and we and we lost our homeland right so now people are calling themselves um, African American, um, West Indian, Native Americans, Hispanics, and so on. And in, the, in all these religions, man. New ages and things like that. This is 2 Kings chapter 17, verse 23. It says, until It says, 2 Kings 7 and 23, until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight, as he has said by all the servants of the prophets, so was Israel carried out, carried away out of their own land. The Lord moved us out of his sight, he turned his back on us, and we was moved out of the land of Israel, man. We don't, we, that's not our land anymore, man. Even if you got a... A speckle of jakes that go back over there, it's not our land anymore, man. We outcast. It says, so Israel was carried away out of their land to Assyria onto this day. Onto this day. So basically, we have no homeland, man. All right? We have no homeland. We have no industry. We can't compete globally, economically. We've been broken. And the king of Assyria bore men from Babylon and from Qatar and from Ava and from Hamath and from Sepulphavim and placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the children of Israel. So we, we've been placed everywhere, man. We, we, we placed all over the world, man. We scattered. So that's why she, she don't know what's the hell going on. Because the covering cast over all the nations and we are not in our homeland no more. So she think the people that's over there belong there. And they lied to her with her education. You know what I mean? So she been lied to because the so-called white man is a damn liar. You know, and the covering cast over all people in this damn history. You know what I mean? You can't tell these so-called educated females anything, man. They're fucking dildo heads, you know? 
Yeah. And she said the Egyptians are mixed. They're like, how did that happen? Right. How did that Right, well, I'm going to read the scripture again. It says, And the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon and from Kuto and Ava and Hamath and Sephapha and placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the children of Israel. And they possessed Samaria and dwelt in the cities thereof. Israel possessed Samaria originally. They took the Samaria, uh, Samaria from the Samaritans, right? Ephraim lived in, in the house of Israel, lived in Samaria. But the king of Assyria put Hamites in the nation. They kicked the Israelites out and put Hamites in the nation. So now Hamites dwell in Samaria. Is that simple? It's, 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 it happens all the time in kingdoms. You lose a battle or a war, you get kicked out of the land. That's what happens when you get conquered. Yeah, she's ready to be a concubine. She's ready to get conquered. That's what it really was. But her time will come. And all you women, time will come. Y'all got it. think she came over here for, yo. John, she was circling for a minute. She came over here for dialect, yo. You know? John chapter 4, verse 21. Yahweh Shai said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when when ye shall like when ye shall neither in this month, which is applied to the Palestinians, by over in the land, saying that this, this is this is their land, so on and who up to you. You know what I mean? But guess what? You worship it Allah, man. You don't even worship the God of the land, man. At least the Samaritans were trying to do that. Yeah. They were trying to worship Yahweh by Shai, man. Yeah. Yeah. They were trying to fake the funk a little bit. Right. And I wish the Moses had mercy upon them for doing that. And I mean, he, uh, he called the wild beast from uh, the bower in there. Right. You know what I mean? But hey, the Lord ain't calling nothing from, from you Palestinians, man. Because you're not even worshiping him. You're worshiping our Lord, man. You know what I mean? Yahweh shall said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour coming when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerus Jerusalem. Worship the Father, ye worship ye know not what. Tanya. Yeah, because she was a heathen. Tanya. Yeah. <coughs> All right. She was a heathen. Just like the Palestinians, they don't know what they worship. Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? Just like that, that woman there saying, she don't, she don't know what she worships. Man. That's right. You know what I mean? She's all, she's all messed up and bugged out. Man. You know what I understand? Ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship, but we know what we worship. Man. And the end game is that. America is Babylon the Great. It's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. You know, Israel is going to be pelted with thermonuclear destruction. Yeah. It's not going to be, it's not going to be uh, uninhabited, but it's going to be wiped clean. <coughs> you understand? We told her, we told her through the scriptures, we were just telling her that um, that Babylon the Great is not going to be inhabited. The ancient world of Babylon is Iraq, is inhabited, but this place. It's going, this, this, the new Babylon, which is this place, it's, it's not going to be a habit anymore. It's going to be utterly destroyed. Right. She didn't know about Babylon the Great. Right? Exactly. She was saying ancient uh, Babylon is Iraq, which is correct. Right. Ancient Babylon is Iraq. Yeah. You understand? But a modern day Babylon, Babylon the Great, is America. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, John chapter 4, and even the biblical scholars will tell you that. Right? Yeah. Modern Babylon the Great, modern Babylon is, is, is America. Understand? Ye worship, you know now what? We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Yeah, salvation of the Jews, starting with the elect. And who are the Jews? So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? That's the Jews. All right? It was a derogatory term used for all of our tribes, man. Huh? Verse 23. Uh, but the hour coming, I know, is when the true worshippers no, shall worship the Father. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we got Muslim motherfuckers. We shall worship. But the hour coming, I know, is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father. Spirit. The true worshippers are Israelites, man. 
in spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. That's right, the spirit of prophets are subject to the prophets. All right? The, the, most, the most high is in spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Spirit and in truth, all right? Done. So, so these leaders, this, this, this has nothing to do with them. The, the, this, this, the truth that has nothing to do with these heathens, man. They, they occupying the, um, the, the, the land right now for a time being, and then pretty soon that land gonna be destroyed, but it's gonna be rebuilt. The kingdom. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 19. And Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms, the beauty of the child, these That's excellence, America. Shall be as when the most high court got through Sodom and Gomorrah. So it's gonna be, this place gonna be cooked. Ancient Babylon wasn't cooked. But America going to be cooked with thermonuclear fire. For fire that the Lord is going to shoot on this place with the angels. America will be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. We're going to keep saying it because it's going to happen. And if I'm not mistaken, in the ancient Babylon, it didn't really go down violently. Nope. It just really decapitated the king, Belshazzar, probably his nobles. But it wasn't really like a war to uh, take down our ancient Babylon. Yeah. Uh, they didn't burn it down. Uh, they didn't burn it down. Became a province of Persia. Yeah. And that's why the Persians had all that money, that gold that they had. That, that treasure was, they was, they was good. <laughs> Come. Uh, verse 19. Yeah. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the child, these excellency, Shall be as when the most high over a few Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, like a, and there's a lot of witchcraft here in America, but it's gonna go down like Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed by fire. And America will be destroyed by fire. The land gonna be cleansed, but not inhabited by human beings anymore. It shall never be inhabited. See? Neither shall be dwelt in. You ain't, gonna, you ain't gonna dwell here. No vacation here. None of that. No trade here. Stores closed. It shall never be inhabited. Neither shall be dwelt in from generation to generation. Yeah. <laughs> Neither. It ain't gonna be inhabited. Why? Because America gonna be turned into a desert. This whole land mass gonna be a desert. We're not gonna recognize what state was what state. The waters around it gonna be dried up. That thermonuclear destruction gonna gonna, gonna give this place a, like a facelift. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tank there. No more making money here in America, cause America gonna be a desert by thermonuclear destruction. They're not coming over here selling selling their goods no more. No more that. That rotten ass meat in these carts that yeah. these um, these Arabs got, these sand niggas, them carts ain't gonna be no more of that no more, man. And she's an Arabian. That's, that's why I said the store is closed. Right. right. So she not gonna be able to pitch that here no more. Yeah. <laughs> the store closed. The store gonna be done. Right. She's one of those Arabians. Yep. Yeah. They come over here, they make the money from the trade. Who are uh, the consumers is mainly Jake? We spend trillions. Because we don't have an industry or none of that. We've been cut out of the ranks of business on a global scale. And they all mean a secret that to make it happen. They all done, um, they all done got fat off of, off of Jake. So this place ain't that money game they got, that racket is done. Uh, they basically took over the bodegas from the Ephraimites. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ephraim had the bodega game on smash. You got a few sprinkle of them next. Now you got you got these um sand niggas got the bodegas, man, and then they just kept on multiplying, so they cornered the market. I thought monopolies was illegal. When we was in high school, they said a monopolies was illegal, but the sand niggas got a monopoly on all the bodegas. What's up with that? I thought monopolies was illegal. 
How come all these sand niggas got a monopoly on all the um bodegas in the hood? Guns. It's right. not it shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. It ain't gonna be dwelt in from generation to generation. Yeah, we paid attention in class too. We not stupid. Neither yeah, we use your information that we learn from your history. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fools there. Yeah, they not going. They not gonna make no more money over here no more because America gonna be blown off the map, and they gonna get rounded up. You know, they're gonna get rounded up and push and, and shackles on them. Those that, those are not, those are not, not, not the rem remnant of you. And you're gonna bring back all of your nation that got destroyed in its destruction. And you're gonna save your thousand years of slavery. You Arabs, you um, Ishmael, Elam, East Indians, um, you Ham, you Africans, um, um, Moab, Ammon. Um, the Chinese, the um, Japanese, the Koreans, and down the list, man. Oh, the so-called white man, first and foremost, start with your elites. You're going into slavery. You're going you to get the hardest end of the slavery, man. Yeah. Revelation chapter 18, verse um, 8, it says, Therefore shall our place come in one day. Death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. In one day, and in one hour, America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. For strong is the Lord, Yahweh will judge for. Yeah, strong is the Lord who judges for, man. That judgment is a, that fire, man, thermonuclear fire. Verse 9, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously. All these are the elites of these nations in these nations, they, they, made, America, they made money off America, man. They um it, it, in Dubai you got a lot of Americans go over there to vacation, man. They making money off off this holiday, America. Yeah. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall be well and lament for her. That's right. A king, a king is someone that's a sovereign. So you got kings, but they not taking the title of kings like the thirteenth banking families. They're actually kings. They're sovereigns. They don't pay taxes. They don't have birth certificates, socials, and things like that. State IDs. They don't have state IDs, man. Sovereigns don't got that shit, don't have that. They, 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 they stand outside of that. They, you can't even, they can't even be brought in a, in a, in a, in a, in a courtroom. They all, they not in, a, and they not in, they're sovereigns. They not under they're that jurisdiction. Yeah, yeah, immune. You know? Why you think why the elites, they killed off other elites that wasn't on board? They had to get them out of the way. No, but that's a different type. Go ahead. And the king of Urquhart committed fornication, let the listen to her, shall be well her, and let her, when they shall see the smoke. They're going to lament when they see the smoke. All right, playtime is done. They're not making no more money. It's it. That whole, that whole, that whole, that whole um, confederacy of them making that money is done. Stand it. Verse it's 10. The, 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 now the, the Lord world's order is going to take place. All right? So, Yahweh Shah going to follow everything Yahweh put in place. And the nation of Israel starting with the elect is going to be joint heirs. All right, so the right order is going to be established on, on earth, man. So that, that time is that time is done. They had their time. Recess is over for these other nations, man. That's right. I don't care what they say, how they feel about it. They butt, they butt hurt, whatever, whatever, man. Take it, take it on the chin, man. You know. Our first set is standing apart, apart. For the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city for one in one hour, is thy judgment come. They gonna see it on satellite, TV, they gonna hear about it on the radio. The Americans up in smoke. 200 million warheads were detonated over here. Thermonuclear warheads. 
is that the, the smoke is up in the air, just like when the when them Tudor folks got uh got hit and they went down that smoke, they pulled the buildings, took them out the, the World Trade Center, them two towers, man. They put thermite in the building and they ignited that shit. And them shits went down and that smoke was up in the air. That's how the smoke that's gonna be in this country is gonna go up for a long period of time. 200 million warheads gonna detonate over here, nuclear warheads. Recently. You know what I mean? America gonna be turned into a desert. Verse, uh, verse 11, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. For no man buy their merchandise no, anymore. No man buy their merchandise. America is a consuming country, nation. You see all these cargo ships going in and out, in and out constantly. Look at all, look at look at all the cargo ships going in and out. No more. Nobody. They they good. They gonna have product to sit in there. You know, product gotta move. They product just gonna be there. It, it, it's, it's done. Nobody buy that shit. No more dollar store goods. Dollar store tie. You know all that shit. You get me? And that maybe that, that shit coming from China. <laughs> so China gonna have a whole bunch of product and can't move it. It don't matter because they going to the fucking slavery. After that. So basically, who is that? The question we gotta ask um, who is that um, who buys the majority of their goods? America. Can we? I don't know the number. You got it. So. Um, let me just skip down to verse 15. Yeah. Verse 15, it says, The merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing. They got rich, man. They got rich. They got rich even though they paid a little tariff for the goods coming in. I don't know. We we mainly paid a bulk of the tariffs for the goods coming in, right? We paid a bulk of the tariffs, the, the, the taxes on goods coming in from other countries, right? The consumer, right? But all right. So these nations got rich because they got they got they got they got them sweatshops and over there were well, America. Fuck it, they got rich off this country, man. All right, on um, the commerce, we already know the um, uniform commercial code and all of that with the goods coming in and out. Yeah, yeah, they got it. Yeah, yeah, and and, and you track the goods with the um, UPC. Universal product code, which is the, the, the device that's gonna be the um the um the tracking for the chip, it leads to that. But yeah, so these nations got got rich off America. But when America's blown off the map, no one's gonna buy their goods anymore. Because America's a consumer nation. It's like a giant ass mall for the world. Verse 16 it says and saying, alas, alas, that great city that clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, where in one hour so great riches is come to naught. Yeah, yeah they're gonna grab their head, man, because it's, it's it now. That's it. You know, they, they, they clientele, they, they clientele is gone. They have no more, they kind the bulk of their clientele is gone, man. Saying, alas, alas, that like great city what, that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and uh -huh. pearl. For one hour or so great riches have come to naught. Everything that's coming out. No, don't even forget, don't forget the pharmaceuticals. Don't forget the pharmaceuticals. Don't forget the drugs. Because this a hub bringing shit over there to they, to, they, to they country. You know what I mean? Or whatever. Don't forget that. You got it. Uh, 17, and every shipmaster and all company and ship and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood far off. Yeah, man, because you got them, them cargo containers, man. They bringing in things and then them ships come into the berth and then they got to show the certificate of manifest. They got to show, all right, hazardous goods, all of that. You know what I mean? What they color code, all of that too. What assets, all of that. You know, you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, verse 18 and cried when they saw the smoke of a furnace saying what city is like unto this great city yeah who buy our bullshit 
Nobody's gonna buy our nobody buying our cars, our, our, our merchandise, our world, our our, our 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 oil, all of that, man. We have all this. We have all of this. We just sitting on 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 this. They saying this before before the shackles get put on them. You know, they don't know the shackles is coming next. So they like, yo, who gonna buy our shit? Verse um, 19, and they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping. Yeah, and they're in confusion, man. They don't know what to do. You know, they don't know what to do. Because they, they merchandise is moving on a volume, you know? It was a constant flow. Just like electricity moving, just like your blood flowing through you, that shit is constantly flowing, flowing. Good, it's going in and out, circling around, man. Now they don't got nobody to purchase, purchase their shit. Saying, alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich, all that have ships in the season by reason of her costliness, for in one hour is she made desolate. One hour she's made desolate. Damn, our, our, whole, our whole business, our whole business is, our business is done. We out of business. We out of business now. Verse 20, rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for Yahweh have avenged you on her. Yeah, so we, we gonna rejoice, and we rejoicing now, because we know, we, we not really fully rejoicing, but we know this is about to take place. But we gonna, we, gonna, we gonna fully rejoice when that time happens, man. They paid that. Yeah. James Brown said, you know? So that she stuck around during this time, when she wasn't. But she would have known that that would clearly show, like um, this place talking about Babylon the Great, because this is this is country is the largest consumer nation on the planet. You know, you know what I mean? People just buy buy shit they don't even need. They constantly just buying things, man. Right? You know? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 14. As the fire burneth a wood, as the flame setteth the mountains on fire, so persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid of thy storm. It says, fill their faces with shame that they may seek thy name, O Lord. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Yea, let them be put to shame and perish, that they may know that thou whose name alone is Yahweh art the most high over all the earth. That's right, so they're gonna know who the more all these nations gonna know who the Lord is, man. The Lord's name, the most high, Yahweh, his son, Yahweh Shah, they're gonna know. Who the true powers are, who the true power is, who the Lord's people are. They pretty soon they're gonna they gonna know the Lord going when he make his appearance. When he when he when he comes back, he's coming back in his in his glory. So it's no negotiations, no talking. It's no talking now. It ain't no UN meeting. It ain't it ain't no assembly, no summit. Nah, he's gonna destroy all of those these mountains, man. The rulership here. These are these elites are going into captivity, man. But they gonna see, they gonna see in them bunkers all their mighty army being vaporized, man. They're gonna be watching it in a bunker. They're gonna be watching. Just like that movie um Greenland. You saw the military men in the bunkers watching on the on the monitor that um you know the um the wind from the um the the the, um, the comet hitting or whatever. But they're gonna be watching the nukes come coming down and the Lord shooting them um shooting that concentrated fire. That's why they say the, let the mountains fall on us. Not let it fall on us but protect us and hide us from the Lord. Then they don't know the Lord is gonna break open and that shit and snatch them out of there after everything. It's they stupid. 
they showed me that show Fallout. It's like they're preparing for this great destruction, right? As if they they're gonna be exempt from judgment. Like the fallout shelters, the, the space stations, uh -huh. like that's their exemption from judgment. But you are just being preserved because you're going to be the first fruits of slavery. Yeah. Everybody that's hiding in these bunkers, you're spending all this money on these doomsday prepping and, and, and buying a ticket for the space station, you're going to be the first crop for slavery. Yeah. All right? But I got something else. This is Romans 9 and 17. For the scripture saith for to Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, have I raised thee up. The Lord raised up Pharaoh, had a mighty raise up Egypt, ancient Egypt, to see how that city looked. It looked like a limestone over the pyramids. It was all white and sparkly, like, 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 it, it looked like pearls, man. You know, the Lord built up Pharaoh and his army and his might, just like he built up the so-called white man, yo. With his military and his nuclear weapons and things like that, all to, to bring him down. So the elites, and one day, and one day they're gonna be poor and enslaved, man. In one hour, I mean, they, in one hour they're gonna they gonna in one hour they're gonna go from uh, riches to rags. In one hour, that fast. This is First Samuel chapter two, verse seven. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. Yeah, cause wealth, wealth is um, not destroyed; it's transferred. Just like energy is transferred, it's not destroyed or created. Wealth is transferred or translated. All right, that's, that's just a part. Like, it, it says, He raised up the poor out of the dust, and He lifted up the beggar from the dunghill. He right. set up them among princes and made them to inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, uh -huh. and He hath set the world upon them. That's right. So, the nation of Israel, we're going to be raised up again, man. All the way down to the, to, to the homeless Jake that's out of his mind living on the street. Yeah. He gonna be put, he gonna be, he gonna be ra raised up in the kingdom, man. He gonna be raised up in the kingdom. He not gonna be like that no more. This is his judgment for now. That's right. So that's like, like, like right now, we know, we pray to Yah Bashim Yahweh we not in, in that condition because that's that man's judgment, you know? So we don't, we don't kick him down. He's suffering. He, he's suffering. Already. He already, already defeated. Right. We, we just, we just pray the Lord, yo, the water y'all washing y'all shine. We not in that situation, or we don't be in that situation, and um, we already know he getting his judgment right now. Right. So it's no need to even um, kick him yeah, kick him down. The Lord already punishing him. Back to Romans nine and seventeen. For the scripture saith for to Pharaoh, even for the same purpose, have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So that's why you got that land over there. You're so called mighty right now, because the Lord gonna show you his might. When he did, when he plummets your ass, man, when he nukes your ass. All right? That's 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 when you gonna you gonna see what world power is. When all y'all NATO forces and y'all cooked at the same time. When y'all turn into powder, dust. All them, all them, all them off. All your chariots that Esau got. That shit gonna that's it's gonna be dust. It's like a, a like a puff of smoke in the air, man. When the Lord shoot the when the Lord shoot the beams on it. You know what I mean? The book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. Yeah, you're gonna um, you gonna give us your goods. The, 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 the under the order, 
Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai on, on Yahweh Shai on, on down to the ranks. Your, your spoil you're going to be divided amongst the elect of the nation of Israel, all right? And the sons of strangers shall build up that wall. Yeah, you're going, you're going into captivity, man. <laughs> it's going to go back to manpower. Things have more value when it's um when it's constructed by our hands, by manpower. is a longer value. You have some certain cars or whatever. They say this was hand-woven in, in the seats and all of that. Forgive me, I, I, I'm trying to remember certain things, but it has a more value when it's when it's with manual labor, and that's how it's going to be in the kingdom. It's going to go back to manual labor. They're not going to have these power tools and, and things like that. Things going to be handcrafted. They going whatever measuring tools we we let them have or whatever, and they're going to have to get it right. Cause it ain't gonna be no more land surveyors no more. I got them orange things where they using the trigonometry and all that. Because of the curvature, of, cause the earth is round. You got hills and things like that. So you gotta have the um, surveyors go out when they building the structures around here. They ain't gonna have those fancy devices, man. That's right. Uh, Isaiah chapter 60 verse 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. The Lord had mercy on us, so the Lord gonna reestablish us. But he smote us because we kept going off. We had to be punished. So the Lord is gonna um gonna, gonna pay Esau back in these heathens, man. Done. Therefore. Therefore, the gates shall be open continually. Why the gates gonna be open continually? For the forces of the Gentiles. Y'all gonna be bringing in your wealth, your fine fabrics, the linens, your incense, your, um, you know, the gold and silver, your mineral resources, your women's, yeah, women, well, I'm saying women's. I'm on my grandfather said I said women's, all that. Oh, um, yeah, they, 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 the best of what you have, it's, good. it's coming to the nation of Israel. That's right. You know? Uh, and they got a lot of things hidden, man. There's a lot of wealth going all the way back. Man, to the days of Solomon. That, 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 that stuff didn't get lost. They have a lot of treasures and things, man. They got to they gotta bring that They got to bring that in. And it ain't being shipped in or flown in. They got a wheelbarrow on that stuff in. They got to drag that stuff in. You know what I mean? It's manpower. So it's going to take longer. There ain't no more shipping in, in them planes that help them bring materials in. Nah. Therefore, thy gate shall be open continually. Yeah. They shall not be shut day nor night. They ain't going to be shut day. They ain't going to be shut continually. Because there's a lot of um, wealth that these nations stole from us. And, and, and then the, and then the wealth they, that they made, by, so-called by themselves, they got to fork that over. That men may break on to be the forces of the Gentiles. Is there what the forces is, is their wealth. You know, the scriptures say money is a defense. Their forces is their wealth. Their mineral resources. Their gold, their silver, their, their fine fabrics, the silks, all of, the, all of that, all of that, man. You gotta get that up. And that their kings may be brought. The kings, these elites, man. These elites, they're going in the shackles, man. They're going in the shackles. Come, verse uh, 12. 20. I just want to see them enslaved. I just want. I don't even have to. I just want to see the elite enslaved. I just want to see. I just want to see, you know, the apostles, the Lord, just have them, just fucked up. I just want to just witness it in my, see them in the pit, just suffering. You know, go to visit. You know, ask the apostles, ask the Lord. Just, just, just fuck them up. You know what I mean? <laughs> For the nation. 
and kingdom that will not serve. Oh, how long that been off? Oh yeah. Yeah. So. For, for the nation and kingdom uh -huh. that will not serve thee shall perish. Those nations. Yeah, you know, if it don't serve you, how about Shimei or Shai or, 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 or battle us, they're going to be destroyed. You know, they're going to they're gonna be destroyed, man. Yeah, those nations, yeah, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Yeah, so when they see somebody, when they see, when they see their fellow slave beheaded or crushed, all his face is smashed into the stone, they gonna all get in line, the other ones. You know? Um, um yeah, hold on. I got one speak for the Yeah, that was it on that. This is um Job chapter 20, verse 15. He has swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. Done, done. So that's what's going to happen to Esau Edom, man. Because what? He swallowed down the riches, man. What is the riches? He stole the land from the Native Americans to the snake, the Negroes, and got rich off of them. So on and so forth, man. So guess what? You're going to have to vomit that back up. And how he's going to do that? To become our servants, man. He that, he that lead it into captivity uh, shall go into captivity, man. You understand? And that's what Esau did to us. He got rich. I would not. All right. Well, we'll know. Uh, he that lead it into captivity shall go into captivity. And how did Esau not get rich, man? Put us in slavery, put us in captivity, he conquered the people that you see on this side, man, and stole their riches and enslaved them to build up his kingdom. You understand? It says, And he shall vomit them up again. The Most High shall cast them out of his belly. Come, so the Lord is going to bring him down, man. Do your house shine and that term of nuclear destruction, man. And then after that, the Edomites around the planet, the heathens around the planet are going to be gathered up because it's not only the Edomites, it's also all the different nations, also the Arabs, Chinese, Japanese, Samoans, Indonesians, Ethiopians, South Africans, all of you, man, that are of the heathen stock is going to be gathered up and put into uh, slavery under the children, the sons of Israel. This is the book of Revelations 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. God, who is that? The, the elect. Hopefully elect, he that overcometh, endure unto the end. And that's what we hope to do and be. Overcome and endure unto the end. Unto us will be given power, rulership over the heathen nations, man. That's promised, man. That's promised to the hopeful elect of the children of Israel. Like we're going to be what? Giving the rulership power over the earth, over the heathen nations. Psalms 2 and 8 perfectly tells you that. Psalms 2 and 8 tells you what? Uh, they are giving us, giving out the heathen our inheritance unto us. Right. You know what I mean? Acts of me. And I will give thee the heathen for thine inheritance right. and the uttermost parts of, of the world. Uh, yeah, for that inheritance, something that has effect also. Because the world and the fullness thereof belongs unto the children of Israel, man. You know what I mean? All these different beautiful places in the world, that's gonna be our that's gonna be our thing, man. That's gonna be our our, our shit, man. You know what I mean? We're gonna we're gonna rule the world, man. Psalms 2 and 10, not 8. Ask of me, and I will I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Huh? So the heathen belong to us. You, you, you by right, is our servants, man. And the uttermost parts of the earth, by right, is our possession. So these are rightfully things that belong to Onto the children of Israel, mm. and we're gonna what? Receive that in due time. We're gonna receive it soon enough, man. In due time, and we're approaching that time where all of this is gonna be fulfilled, man. 
It's only a matter of time. Back to Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, unto uh, him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. God, that's what we're going to do. We're going to rule these heathen nations with a rod of iron. And you're going to fully implement the last statutes of commandments of the Bible upon these heathens. Man. And whenever they go off, whenever they break them, they're going to be punished with the, to the fullest extent of the law. Man. You understand? It says, as a vessel of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. So they're going to be busted up, man. Busted up, broken down, man. Broke up, man. Because what? That's the vengeance of the Lord uh, visiting upon the heathen. You understand? They're going to get messed up and jacked up and they just pay back, man. And, and it, that's justice, really, man. Us, us uh, putting these heathens in captivity, pulling them, putting them in hell, is, is justice for what they have done unto the children of Israel, man. That was it. That was it. Yeah, I sign on. Yeah, something. Yeah. Um, this is Isaiah chapter twenty-four. Um, start at verse twenty-one. It says, "And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the hosts of the high ones that are on high, and the kings of the earth upon the earth." Come. So all these rulers, these kings, these presidents, prime ministers of the Eden, they're going to be brought low, man. It says, "What their king shall be brought." So all the heathen rulers, they're going to be what? Brought before the children of Israel, the sons of Israel, the 144,000, are put into shackles and chains, put to work, to minister unto the children of Israel, man. And that's biblical prophecy, man. I mean, this must come to pass, man. Or else the Lord will be a liar, man. And Numbers 23 and 19 tells you what? The Lord is not a liar. So, so the, the heathen, man, has to go into captivity under the children of Israel. That's biblical prophecy. Go ahead up. Uh, verse 22. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the Can't place. like prisoners are done. Man. And prison is another form of slavery. When you're in prison, you're in slavery, man. So the heathens are going to be gathered together like prisoners. Man. Prison, prisoners of war. POWs, man. Your nation have been conquered. No time to go into Go ahead up. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so says, and shall be shut up in the prison, and after many days shall they be visited. Come, so they're going to be shut up, man, and then visited with that captivity, man. You know what I mean? Put, put to work, man. They're going to have to clean up the earth, bury the dead bodies, so on and so forth, and then ultimately build up our kingdom, man. And the brother was going into that manual labor. You understand? Building our palaces, our, 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 our streets, so on and so forth. Man. Building back up the earth. We're going to put them to work. Go ahead, Ak. That was it. Verse 23 oh. says, Then the moon shall be confounded, and the sun ashamed, when the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion, and in Jerusalem, and before his ancient glorious and then as the sun and moon goes into the wisdom of this world, right? Yeah, the wisdom like, of this world is going to be like uh, confounding, man. You know what I mean? And it's already being confounded because the apostles are now confounding, man. We confounded that, that Palestinian that was up here. You know what I mean? And we confounded all the, the thoughts and the philosophies and the doctrines of this world. That's outside of the truth, man. Go ahead up. Yes, sir. That was it. Come. Nice. <laughs> James chapter 5 verse 1 Go to now ye rich men weep and howl Man, who's this rich man? Specifically the elites the Rothschilds, Rockefellers you know what I mean? Also the different rich men, the sheiks you know what I mean? You have these different Arab sheiks you have these different uh, Chinese mill, uh, billionaires so on and so forth go, go uh, howl man because what? This is your end man for your miseries 
that shall come upon you. God, for your miseries that come, shall come upon you. Because it ain't nothing worse than going from riches to rags. Man. That's right. That's the worst. What the scripture say? There's a forgetfulness of um, prosperity. Yeah, there's um, adversity. Sorrow, adversity, man. When you catch your head, and all of that shit goes out the window, man. All the good days is like a distant memory, man. And that's how exactly it's gonna be for you heathen, man. Especially you eat of my heathen. At least there's a little bit of light and some light on the tunnel for the heathen after a thousand years. <laughs> there's, our, there's our prison release day. <laughs> but hey, you 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 eat them, it's gonna be a death row, man. <laughs> and there's not that's the worst thing man, to be a death row, man. You ask any prisoner that's on death row, that's like that's the worst thing ever, man. You understand? Because we do say that they're gonna want they're gonna want that extermination, but really, they're not really gonna cause nobody wants to die, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So really that's gonna be a dreadful thing for them, man. So now that they're gonna be burnt up and, and no more Edomites. You understand? So they're gonna be on death row, man. What? It says your riches are corrupt. And your garments are moth eaten. Because your riches are corrupt. Because how, how did you get your riches, man? Through the destruction of these people, man. Predominantly. Yeah. Robbing, stealing, John 10 and 10. The teeth, the, 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 the teeth coming out of the teeth. Steal, yeah. kill. Kind of, that, that's, what, that's what Esau did. And that's what a lot of these heathens did also, man. Especially to the 12 tribes of, uh, 12 tribes of Israel. Your gold and your silver is cakey. And the rest of them shall be a witness against you. Nah, so basically your riches can't save you. And how you got those riches are a testament of your wickedness, man. Because you, those are ill-gotten gains, man. You know what I mean? Those are ill-gotten gains that you got by what? Praying on the, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel predominantly, man. It says, And shall eat your flesh as it were fire, you have heaped your treasures together for the last day. God, so you're going to be visiting through that, with that thermonuclear destruction, man. You know what I mean? Your empires are going to be destroyed mm -hmm. through that thermonuclear destruction, and you're going to go into captivity, man. Because the most of the elites are going to escape that, that destruction. But guess what? There's a pair of shockers and chains waiting for each and every one of you, man. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, cry. Come, that's why the enslaved children of Israel man. are we crying out to the Lord? Man? We're catching help. We're crying out to the Lord to bring down these heathen. Man. At least the Israelites in their right mind. I was praying, making supplication unto the Lord to bring down. Uh, Esau, Edom, man, to deliver us from this captivity. And the cries of them have reaped, it says, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Come, so cries of all the hell that we've been through, slavery, you know what I mean, genocide, so on and so forth, we're crying unto the Lord. Asking the Lord, when are you going to redeem us, man? When are you going to avenge us upon the heathen, man? Look 18 and 7. You understand? Surely shall the Lord avenge his own elect, which cry to him, they cry unto him day and night. And that's exactly what we're doing with these videos, these streets, teachings, so on. It's only a matter of time, man. It's 2024, man. It's only a matter of time, man. The Lord has to be on his way, man. It's 2024. Who would have taught, man? Right. So this brother, for sure, man. This brother been around, man. So who would have thought, man? You know what I mean? Going, going, yes, yeah, fuck that. Hey, he would have still been here, but that only means it's closer, man. That's right. It's closer. It's closer, man. You understand that was in a nut? Yeah, man. Salvation is nearer than when we Can't. believe. Salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. Yeah. It's nearer than when we believe, man. And it's going to happen quick, too, man. Because yeah. they're saying, don't tarry, wait for it. Right. So surely it shall not tarry, man. Right. Hey, so with that, we hope you brothers, sisters, will edify. We're gonna say our praises be to your house. Oh, Bashim, Yahusha, Bashim, Makapadash. Now, my honest and apostles, elders of Great Millstone, we will. And shall we want to be like? Shall we want? Shall we want?